What's up everybody? This is Riptorn and this is going to be a dog tutorial for Punch Planet on Steam on PC. And this is going to just be a quick introduction of the character and a rundown of uh, what he can do, what type of character he is, um, go over some go over his uh, specials, normals, anti-airs, combos, pressure, stuff like that. Just some real basic introduction stuff. So we're going to start actually with his specials. Um, but first I will describe he's, what, he, kinda what type of character he is. He's a rushdown character, um, very movement based. He has this run, quarter circle forward kick, lets him run. And there's three attacks he can do at the end of it. Uh, a low, which is kind of like a slide. And then he's got a headbutt, which is a mid. And then he's got a overhead. The overhead is you end the, your run with hard kick. And the mid is medium kick. And the low is light kick. Um, and he can run at three different speeds. That's his hard kick run, that's his medium kick, and that's his light kick run. Um, usually you want to use the hard kick run as much as possible just because it's faster and it combos into more stuff. Um, he can really combo from far away with hard kick run. And he also has an EX run, which has armor, which is great. Um, it has multiple hits of armor, too. So you can go through EX fireballs that have two hits, or um, just blow through multi-hitting moves. And the armor runs out at a certain point, towards the end. And when you do certain moves, the armor runs out. Like this hard kick doesn't have armor, the end hard kick under. So you can also cancel run with the punch button. So you do run with kick, and then you hold a punch, and you hit cancel it immediately. Um, so he has pretty good pressure with his run. He doesn't have any projectiles, so this is his main movement option to get in. Um, so that's one of his specials. And then his other special is this pinwheel attack. And uh, there's three versions of this too. Hard, kick, hard punch pinwheel, which is like a dragon punch motion. Goes about half screen maybe. Um, pinwheel just doesn't attack either. You have to follow up with punch to do this, dive punch or a kick to do this low sweep. Now this isn't an overhead, technically, it's a mid. So you can block it low and this doesn't become as much of a mix-up with the overhead low. Um, also, I didn't mention EX run medium kick wall bounces. So that's pretty good for combos. Um, and the EX Pinwheel is an invincible dragon punch. And he can do this on wake up for invincible attack. Um, and it can be followed up in the same way with the low, or you can follow up with this uh, knockdown dive punch. This is also pretty plus on block, also plus on hit, so you can combo off of it. But on block it's also plus. So the regular is minus two, but the EX is plus two. Plus three sometimes, it depends on a lot of this um, dive punch. It, a lot of the frame data becomes uh, variable based on how much, how late you hit how low you hit. 
So he has dive punch setups on Oki where he can be pretty plus. Alright, so those are his main two specials, and they're mostly meant for combos and movement. Um, a lot of characters have projectiles in this game, so you'll have to be smart about getting in sometimes. Or they'll just have really good footsies and kind of out footsies dog, so you kind of have to use your run to gain ground quickly. His dash is also really good. His forward dash. His back dash isn't bad. It's actually pretty good. Has some recovery, but it's pretty good for getting out of throw situations. And it kind of leaves you airborne, so if you get hit, you don't always they don't always get a full combo. So those are his specials. And next we're going to move on to his normals. Okay. So normals. Let's see. Starting out with his light punch. He's got a nice four frame jab. It's a four frame bite. A nibble. He can do three of them on block. And you can also link it into uh, his medium crouching medium punch on hit and his crouching hard punch on hit. So there's a combo route and that's also a combo route. This is crouching medium punch by the way. Good range. So light punch is good. Crouching light punch is also good for frame mid. It looks like a low but it's actually just a mid. And um, technically, that that does link into crouching hard punch too. Um, get a wall bounce off of that. Hit confirm. It also links into crouching medium kick for a knockdown. It's a pretty good knockdown too. Um, so yeah, very good combo starter, hit confirm, uh, pretty safe to parry. If you get parried and, and you block, you're pretty safe usually. Uh, crouching light kick is a low, it's 6 frames, so it's his fastest low. Um, combos into light punches, it links. It's kind of a weird link because you'll see this is plus two. So you actually have to kind of cancel the recovery of it to get your light to combo. Because your light's four frames, so... It's kind of a weird little timing. It's not really a target combo or anything, it's just a... Uh, it's kind of like a chain, I guess, with late timing. So yeah, crouching light kick's really good. I haven't really found anything else besides the jabs that combos into it. Um, medium punch. Good, fast, mid-hitting, normal. Good whiff punisher. Uh, it also leads into hard punch, which is a target combo. Medium punch, hard punch, you can just dial that. So that's good. Um, it's just a generally good mid poke, medium poke, um, and it's it's also plus on block. Uh, let's see how plus it is. Plus three. So yeah, very good move. Um, it's also plus on block when you run cancel out of it. So that that right that run cancel is plus. So you can jail, um, maybe not jail, but you you can get a uh, frame trap off of it. Crouching medium punch uh, is really decent hitting low, decent range. Um, 
so yeah, it's a real go-to. Seven frame low, one frame slower than than his light light kick low. Um, it's good in combos if you if you don't know if crouching hard punch is gonna reach. Uh, crouching medium kick, medium punch should always reach, and it's a little easier to link it because it's one frame faster than crouching hard punch. Uh, so yeah, very good low. Crouching or just, let's go standing medium kick, double hitting mid attack with good footsies range. One of his better footsies tools, actually. The second hit goes real far. But you're kind of committing to it when you press it. Also, it leads into a target combo, medium kick, hard kick, which is a launcher. And that's really good because uh, you get a launcher and you can run after it and do a um, universal overhead, the OTC, overhead time cancel, for a half bar of your time meter to continue the combo. Um, also medium kick is plus one on block when you let the whole string come out and it will blow up parries so if they parry the first hit and they don't parry the second hit they'll get uh, they'll get hit and they might get a they'll probably even get counter hit for that um, and counter hit leads to a combo if this is a counter hit. Um, also on block, it's plus if you run cancel. So medium kick, run cancel. Medium kick, run, cancel the run is plus on block if they block the medium kick. Also if they parry the first hit of this and you do a run cancel, the second hit of it will come out. The run can't. The run will not come out. So that's an option select too. Medium kick is very good. Uh, crouching medium kick is also two hitting. It's a knockdown on hit. Hard knockdown. Get a meaty dive, dive punch off of it. Plus four. It's safe to parry safe against a parry. Um, it's, this move is good as a mix-up tool, I find, because you have, you also have some overheads, and it's not exactly safe on block, but it's not super punishable. It's um, minus nine, so certain ranges might be hard for some characters to punish it. Um, hard punch, very good. Uh, mid, 9 frame mid, but it has a lot of range. Excuse me. Um, it's also a hard knockdown off a combo, like off a wall bounce or something. And it gives you pretty good oki, so not a bad combo under. Um, you can also DTC it for a combo, so you can do his target combo and DTC and get a combo. Alright, and uh, crouching hard punch, very good anti-air. Also, it does a lot of damage, 60 base damage. So it's very good to use in combos. Uh, it just it just adds more damage to your combos. But I'd say its main use is the anti-air and combos. It's also not bad in footsies. Um, it kind of has a higher hitbox, so like it might get kind of low profiled sometimes. Um, but it doesn't have a ton of recovery, so you can kind of stick it out there. Hard kick is very good in combos. It's also a good anti-air. It's a little slower than crouching hard punch, but you get more of a combo off of it. So it's a nice trade-off. Uh, 
if you're like really anticipating they're, an they're gonna jump, you anti-air them with this and you can get a nice super combo or, you know, whatever. In the corner you can you can loop the, this if you anti-air with it. Um, useful in combos again. You can run cancel into the OTC resets. So yeah, it's also decent in footsies. It's 11 frames, so it's slow, but you can cancel it into run and stay somewhat safe. Um, I don't know the frame data there. You're probably minus, but I don't know if you can be punished. Pro possibly. Alright, so also he has... Uh, couple command normals. He's got this command overhead, which is down back and hard kick. Uh, it's safe on block. Um, can't get a combo off of it unless you get a counter hit. Um, so off some knockdowns you might be able to get a little more plus if it's meaty, but um, on a hit it's only plus one just regularly. But on counter hit, you can definitely get a combo. Uh, and then he's also got this uh, down forward hard kick, which is like a sweep. Um, it's a knockdown, hard knockdown, and you can juggle into it too. Also, it's pretty good in footsies, and it's got a lot of active frames. So it can be pretty safe if you do it at the right distance, or you can even make it plus. That's plus one. It's a uh, it's like eleven frame startup at the least, and it's minus eight if it hits on the first frame. But if you space it, you can make it safe. So it's got at least like ten active frames, and if you hit on the last couple, it's like plus three, plus two kind of hard to get the exact spacing to make it um, super plus, but you could definitely make it safe pretty easily. Minus three, pretty safe. So that's a good move. Um, so those are his basic normals, uh, grounded normals. In the air, uh, jumping light punch is an instant air overhead. Um, it's punishable on hit though. Jumping light kick is a also instant air overhead. It can also cross up and it can be kind of dirty in the corner because it, it only crosses up if you do it super late. So you can do something like that. It's also a good tick throw. That was jump light punch. Jump light kick is also a good tick throw. Uh, even on hit you can tick throw. He has such little frame advantage. Jumping medium punch is his cross up. It's, it can be pretty ambiguous at times. Like, you don't know which side he's going to land on. It's just really good cross up attack. Um, it reminds me of like Ken and Ryu and Street Fighters jumping medium kick, maybe. Uh, jumping medium kick is interesting. It's also a two-hit attack, so it can kind of blow up uh, parries, force them to parry twice. Um, it's kind of weird to use it as a as a reliable jump in. Um, so you kind of want to set it up in the corner or something, like after a knockdown, maybe you like do this, or, like neutral jump or something. Uh, it can tick throw too because it doesn't have a ton of hit stun 
Con. Or, blo or Box Con, really. Uh, it's just a good attack, in general, to have two hits. Jumping Hard Punch is like his long-reaching jump attack. It goes pretty far, so if you like break through your opponent's zoning and you jump, and you're just barely gonna reach him, that's a good attack to use. Um, jumping Hard Kick is pretty good. It hits really low, like it, it has a low hitbox, so you can do it pretty early in the air and still combo off of it. Uh, some characters have real hard time anti-airing this, and if you use it at the right times, you can really catch people off guard and they they think they can react and they can't because it comes down on them real quick. It can also cross up in the corner or mid screen if you set it up right, but Ooh, does it cross up on dog? Yeah, okay. It's uh it's hard to time that. But it does work. Okay. Jumping hard kick very good. Very high damage. Okay, so those are his normals. All right, let's get into his um, his wake up attack, I guess. Wake up attacks. So you can ex run on wake up for armor, but it's throwable. They can throw you out of that. Um, so that's one option on wake up. Another option is to ex DP, ex uh, pinwheel, which is a dragon punch with a punch button. It is invincible. Um, on hit, you can DTC it for a combo. Oh, that doesn't work, sorry. Reset combo, or you can go into damage. It's very good to have as a DP. For three bars, you reverse the tides right there. 321 damage. Um, you can use it in combos too. Like at the end of combos in the corner, you can. You can even do it mid-screen. Good combo ender. You can also end combos with the. EXDP low. Or if you use it as a wake up, you can go into the low and it'll always hit. The, uh, the mid usually hits too, if you do it, if they're not too high in the air. Um, so yeah, those are his basic wake up attacks. Uh, you can always parry too. Um, You can backdash on wake up. Those are universal options. But his his main invincible get off me move is the EXDP, EX pinwheel. All right, so let's get into some of his combos. This is like your basic um, no meter combo that usually that's like his bread and butter. So it's just light punch, light punch, crouching medium punch, run, light kick. To hit him with the low. All right, and so for one bar, he can do the same combo, but into EX run, into a medium kick, and that'll wall bounce. Oops. And that goes into his hard kick. And then from his hard kick, you have some options. You can run into the OTC and then crouching hard punch into run will reset or you can do hard kick into pinwheel dive and then OTC after that and then you can there's some enders you can do after that I know it. there you go if you have uh, one bar you can do those combos. You can also do like 
one one jab into crouching hard punch or two to EX run into a reset. Um, so that's one time meter. Or you can do this. That's one meter. One time meter only. That reaches. Into a reset. Um, super combo. Oh, he can combo off his throw too. It's a good one to know. You DTC the throw. And then you run. Uh, hard kick run into light kick is probably the best thing to do. You can also do other run. You can do like light kick run, but it doesn't. It's not always uh, as easy. It seems. Sometimes they would whiff. So. There we go. You can do a super off the back throw too. That one you don't need to use hard kick run usually. So those are his basic combos. Um, counter hit combo, like if you block a DP. So there's a good damage combo. get into his supers. Alright, so his uh, two bar super is this uh, invincible DP. You do two quarter circle forwards punch, any punch button. Uh, quick startup, invincible on startup. Um, combos in, you can combo into it off of uh, a lot of stuff combo into it off of his um, run medium kick. So it works off that, it works off his low run stop, his run low. It does not, you can't cancel his overhead into it, but you can do a raw overhead into a slide OTG. Yeah, slide is his OTG, by the way, run slide. Um, so if you throw, you leave him on the ground, you can do a run slide. And that's what leads to a super as well. Um, so yeah, anytime you do a run slide OTG, you can cancel that into super. And his other super is two quarter circle back medium, or two quarter circle back a kick. And it's a high damage, um, slower, but also it goes full screen. Almost full screen, I think. It might stop just short. Oh, it does go full screen. Uh, it does a good chunk of damage, like half life. Big damage, if you can combo into it. Um, so yeah, those are his supers. Uh, and uh, that's about it for now. I'm gonna take a quick break and maybe I'll come back and figure out some more stuff. But for now, that's uh, your basic introduction into dog and everything you can do on a real basic level. Um, there's tons more setups for him. 
uh, check out the Punch Planet Discord. There's always people posting setups for Dog in there. Um, Tri Blue, Willpower. There's a bunch of players who play Dog, FMR. So you'll see some stuff in there. Uh, I'll put the link to the Punch Planet Discord in the description. And uh, that's about it. So good luck, happy Punch Planeting, and I will see you on the Punch Planet. Peace.